Okay, now I'm reacting to a new Justin Bieber video that dropped like a couple weeks ago. I'm not like a big Justin Bieber fan. I've listened to, I don't know, probably his singles. Uh, I think he's actually a pretty talented musician. I think the team he has behind him is talented. Uh, he's doing kind of this transition to sort of this um, amalgamated spiritual kind of music. He's mixing in reggae and gospel and Christian rock and, and different kinds of influences like that, which I think is an interesting transition and that's why I'm interested enough to uh, watch these new videos when they come out. I have not seen this one before. Um, I, I saw you got criticized for having dreadlocks. Who cares? <laughs> Like, uh, I, I don't know, I listen to like a decent amount of reggae and like, I feel like there is nothing in like the one people love everyone message of reggae that says tell someone not to have dreadlocks. Uh, it seems petty and stupid to me, but who am I? All right, onto the video. So kind of a slow start, we're just having a little bit of an intro here. It's hard to get a sense of where this song is headed at this point. Um, I don't know. I guess there's not really too much to talk about right now. Uh, the costuming of the band, they have them all in dark colors. They have Justin Bieber in a similar fashion style, but in light colors and with the pink hat so he stands out. And that's just, you know, kind of classic mise-en-scene costuming to make the video look interesting. I like that. Okay, I like that. It's dancey. I like it when the beat drops. It's dancey. I like that a lot. I think Justin Bieber's voice is really good. It's very clear and it's very clean. It's very like um, traditionally good vocals. So yeah, so far so good. I mean, <laughs> I don't have much in, uh, insightful commentary at this point. I, I like this song. I think it's fun, it's dancey. Uh, I think it is just positive. It makes me feel good, and that's what good pop should do. Uh, it seems like the band is having a really good time. It seems like everyone's into it. Um, and again, I think the vocals are good. You know, since the whole thing is relying on Justin Bieber as the front man and his vocals, I, it's, it's solid, it's working. I mean, that section for me is a little bit like muddled, like um, it's just, it doesn't stand out. It's like it's there, uh, but it's, it, it just, it doesn't have anything particularly special about that little, I guess that's the verse for this song, but it's so kind of just structurally, um, It's like, a, it's like a wall of dulcet sound. It's, it's just, it's not really doing anything particularly interesting. It's just getting me, it's carrying me to the next verse. It's gliding along, which is, which is fine. You know, for, for a song like this, I think that's perfectly fine. I will say, um, Justin Bieber has a certain like cadence to his voice when he starts getting into the, uh, the harder notes or the high notes that he does in multiple songs. That's not a criticism. That's just something I observed. Um, Okay, let's let's listen a little bit more. That's what that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it just hit me. It just hit me. No, it's not Justin Bieber sounds like other songs by Justin Bieber. It's Justin Bieber sounds like Bruno Mars. Is he doing a Bruno Mars impression? It sounds like um, what's that Bruno Mars song, man? 
Uh, which is, I, I really like Bruno Mars too. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. He's, he sounds, there's a Bruno Mars song that sounds exactly like this. Yeah, what's that Bruno Mars song, man? It sounds identical to this. Identical. Oh, man. I don't want to. I don't want to look it up on camera, but I know if if I go on my phone and I listen to like four Bruno Mars songs, I'll pinpoint exactly which Bruno Mars song that hook sounds like. You maybe you know maybe maybe you hear the same thing I hear, but that is so similar. I think Justin Bieber's moves are pretty good. He's pulling it off as a front man in terms of just like the visual kind of dancing aspect. He's got his whole like fucking matrix thing going on. He's kicking up his legs. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm, I'm into this song. I like it. That's different. Now this is a good bridge. This adds a lot of dynamism to this song. It's got its callback, so it's it's repeating the the same uh, you know elements of the same verse. Uh, so there's a framing effect, and uh, it's got this really interesting kind of staccato kind of uh, with with a lot of um, uh, kind of pedal effects on it with the guitar. And yeah, I, I I like the way this song is ending. It's it's gonna end on like a high note, a nice little like. Uh, you know, contrasty kind of uh, fast little bang. That's nice. Yeah, man, that was solid. That was a solid song. Um, I don't know. I, like Justin Bieber is not my favorite musician ever, but that was good. That was. Uh, I feel like it would be hard to deny that that is an enjoyable pop song. Uh, it's very positive, it's encouraging, the vocals are on point, the musicianship, the musicality is on point. Like, it's very difficult to deny that objectively that is a, you know, pretty darn good song. Alright, so that was Hold On by Justin Bieber. Um, so, cheers.